Alrighty guys, here is the Drac um, by Right Wing. It showed up today. Today is the 4th, January 4th, 2016, and it's the debut of the uh, Right Wing Drac. Um, I measured it out. It's We're looking at about uh, 61 and a half inches from uh, tip to tip, and the material looks freaking good, like really, really good. Um, so I was taking it apart and just kind of looking at um, some of the materials that were in there and, and organizing of um, where everything was going and just doing some layout of, um, I weighed it and then I wanted to see what kind of um, uh, motor I had for um, to power it because usually I look at weight and then I look at uh, motor output and then I can, um, uh, for me so far, I've been able to judge how fast I want to I wanna go. But this one, I think I'm just going to put it around and uh and it's basically gonna be in my china cabinet because it's gonna be real nice and i don't want to um damage it i'll damage mine uh my wings but this one's really pretty so um i was looking at it and i i i want to put um what i'll probably end up doing is um knocking down some of the plugs and then uh probably lightning light sand it and then i'll uh go ahead and I'll probably laminate it. Uh, I know you're not supposed to. You, um, you don't have to. But I just will put that sheen on it and it'll make it look real pretty. Um, but um, I'll give you guys a rundown on what everything comes with in the kit that I got. And that way you guys can see everything. And I'll show you some of the stuff that I have um, here that I'll probably end up doing to kind of um, enhance it a little bit um, a little bit um, in, in rigidity. Um, so... I know some of you are probably going to put like 8S or 10S in here, but um, it's it's just meant to be a pretty wing and haul butt. Well, not a lot of haul butt, but um, haul uh, your camera equipment and stuff because that bay, whew, look at that bay. <laughs> freaking huge so the guys that are going to be doing um ag work you're going to have your work cut out for you so here um i got some stuff here hang on all right so here's a camera bam this is the uh, sx260 that's going to disappear in there so what else do we got we've got oh here we go uh this is the real quick for you for you ag guys i'll get this out of the way first Bam. So what you'll probably end up doing is just making a little bit of room and then you can drop it in there. But um, for the most part, it's actually not that bad considering the, the bottom of the lens is gonna stick out just a little bit. And a little bit of notching around here is not that big a deal. Um, just a little bit there or sink it or just take that stuff out and then drop it down lower and have your lens exposed. Because normally they want it horizontal not not like that vertical or inline they want it like this but damn freaking room so there's that part and uh i know they're not going to be going super fast they're gonna be kind of cruising along and uh they're not really going for speed but for you guys who are looking for speed um i'm pretty sure there might be a couple of knuckleheads will probably put like 2,000 watts to this bad boy, but um, really, I'm just gonna be floating it around. I'll probably uh, probably put about seven, a little over 700 watts to it, and I, I got a couple motors that I gotta um, try out with it and uh, see how good it um, how good it handles the speed um, and just kind of cruising. And if I get into trouble, I can kick it out. So uh, the wings are are uh, over here. And they're very nicely done. Got the servo. Oh, here we go. Servo fits really nicely. It's actually fits. It'll drop right in like that. And then what you're going to do, um, for a lot of us who build, you're going to cut a little pocket and then stick the wire through. And then it'll be hidden. So when you get ready to interchange uh, the wings and or move from place to place, you can disassemble and take the wings apart. But... Really, really nice how that's done so you guys can plenty of room there um 
uh, this one's these are about eight dollars, nine dollars. Uh, the Hobby Kings. I've been running these on all my wings, so um, these are really strong. They're waterproof, and they're double ball bearing um, servos. They're I've been using them for shoot three years now, and they're rock solid. So um, you don't have to, but for this one, I'm gonna use that. And it, the servo, the large servos, fit really well. So that's a plus. I like that. Um, I really like the bays, the cutouts, and how they have the ventilation holes in and out. Um, I'll probably um, smooth that out just a hair so it dips in. Um, but it looks really nice. So you have your video transmitter or um, something else in here that can generate a little bit of heat. Uh, good ventilation. Your uh, ESC port or your, your spot for your ESC back here has got really nice ventilation holes here. And uh, that's can't beat that that's freaking awesome um, the back portion here for the um, motor let's see if I can turn it around so uh, this is a, the motor one of the motors that I was uh, playing around with uh, does really well it's does uh, let me see if I can show you guys uh, on the test on 4s uh, it does 47 amps uh, uh, 700 and just under 750 watts so plus or minus depending on what your uh, C rating battery is on a 107 prop so it did did really well had good good power and it was really cool still um, now I don't probably won't use that one just depends on on um, what I have available I ordered another one um, that's a little different that puts out uh, actually a lot more watts but I don't want to go faster um, so I'll try that one out too um, the ESC is somewhere over here. Oh, here it is. This one's a... I freaking crushed this one. Because I was messing around. But uh, this is an 85 amp Turnigy. And these ones do really well. Uh, it'll probably sit in here someplace. Where I can get some ventilation. But I crushed it uh, on the tailgate. So you can kind of see. <laughs> Tailgate's fine, but I... Once I heard it, here, listen. Hear it? So I must have crushed, crushed something in there. Yeah. So my bad. Um, but yeah, it'll probably fit in here, so you guys can see it. There's plenty of room, and when the lids are on, uh, you can see how much room you're gonna have. So this is good airflow, and uh, if you do run a hot system. Uh, you'll be taken care of. So that's pretty nice. Uh, this will cover up like that. So you guys can see it. And it comes with the, the Allen bolts here. And it's got the nylon, uh, uh, nylon uh, um, uh, kind of like, they're, they're kind of like a gas, gasket um, for the nuts. Uh, they, they just, for vibration, they, they re, um, keep it from backing out. And that's pretty nice. The um, also put Loctite just in case. Um, these are the these are the flush um, threaded plugs. These are the brass ones. So I have some aluminum ones here that are that are pretty nice. Uh, I don't think it will really matter, but these will be these will go into the holes here, here and here, and then um, front and back. I think you'll have some plugs. I think um, we're gonna make a divider. I think there's somewhere around here. So that'll that'll go under there. And you have your back plugs here once this is all settled in. Um, this is really nice because you can adjust your motor, adjust the motor size, and your ESC wires will fit right there. If you can get them in there. I think you can. So that part's pretty nice. Um, let me get this out of here. Your bay lids are right here with your winglets. These are your winglets here. Um, I think, think, think this will be fine for transportation because they're not that big. Uh, they'll be, they'll fit pretty nicely on the ends. These are actually like six, they look like six mil and they're really stout, which is nice. Um, six mil core plast. So they're the, those, and then here are the bays, uh, covers. These are laser cut, um, and these will go one hand got it got it these will go right here 
and they fit they fit pretty nice not too bad there's a little bit of a lip there but it's not that bad um, but it's good um, definitely not a problem because considering how thick these are and how long these will last so freaking you can't beat that at all um, this is the back uh, this goes like that and then where did that plug go here it is so this will go on like this and then this will fit back here and then you can put your little port for your um, ESC a little bit of ventilation there and then there's a plug here that goes over here that, that will fit once you glue it in I was sorry the camera was away um, and then that'll fit here like so and the cutouts are really nice um, I know there's some people probably people will probably complain. Oh, it's why can they have black core plus or white? But really, it doesn't really matter. Paint will change the color for you. So if you guys are tripping about that, don't worry. Paint will fix it. Um, but yeah, nice hefty core plus, really nice, and fit perfectly. So assembly will be extremely easy. Um, let's go. Here's a laminate for the Elevons. And your Elevons are right here. And you can kind of see the bottom, see the lip? So that's the bottom. So for, for all you guys, you will, don't reverse it like that. Don't put it, that doesn't, that's not how it goes. You want to go like that. So top of the wing will go right there. And that's your, that's your hinge. Okay. Um, so these, don't worry about these. You can uh, laminate it, and this will be um, more than uh, sufficient for strength. Now, you can uh, upgrade these into balsa, and do I have balsa here? Yar, I do, with the pirate voice. And the balsa, it's about, yeah, it's, it's close. It's not as thick as this, but if you... If you wanted to, um, if you wanted to, you can you can do balsa on the back uh, and like that, and, you, and then you would just you know, shave it to that to meet your servo horn. But obviously, you'd want it back here to in line with your servo, so it'd be back here. Um, if you were into that and you wanted to change it, you can. But uh, these are fine because. Uh, um, from when I was building uh, the crash chest hobby wings, uh, their laminate on the Elevons, and then I incorporated incorporated it into my wings, and it worked very well. Now I wouldn't stress it with the weight, because what happens is even with the laminate on five mil, and then you add it up, so you do two layers, you have ten mil, and even on the uh, um, the hinge portion of it. It will still it will still fluctuate a little bit, so yeah. There's also that. Again, if you were souping it up like a hot rod, I would go balsa. There's no question about it. But since I'm not, I'm gonna keep it like this and use what I have. So, Elevons are here. Very nice. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can flip it over. Here's the. The side view, it is Mondo. Check that out. Um, I think they have uh, um, right wing and um, their their uh, bay. What's it called? The the nose piece for the camera piece will have it. Will be out soon. So uh, I don't know when, but if you are deciding or if you're really good at, at 3D printing stuff, you know, like stuff like this, you can you know make something yourself if you're really good at this but since uh, I am not um, I'll probably have to buy it and then uh, make that and then you'll have your nose piece in there really nice uh, I like the shoulder pads here these are here these little neck pads these are pretty cool um, one thing I do see on this and and don't don't freak out on it but um, I see you know you know like uh, Almost like the Sky Hunter or the uh, the Skywalker had a little bit of that flat surface uh, with the wind pushing this part right here because it's it's a, it's a pretty big pretty big area of pushing the wind blowing that way. So 
Not too sure. I'll see how it flies in the wind. Um, I know it'll do fine. But um, the side, those side cheekies. The side cheekies. Those little little things I was looking at. Um, but it's freaking it's freaking stout. It's I mean you seen Chris's video of him slamming it on the table, and it did is fine, totally fine. And so I got a sample piece of it's a company. They're in I forgot where they're at. They're um they're overseas. Um, where's their the company logo? Oh, it's uh, let's see, Tricell. Uh, is that what it is? It's a T E. Let me see if I can zoom. Oh, it's that's a T, T A R A C. That's an E L L. You can kind of see it right there. Boop. Okay, there it is. So, um, their E P P is actually very similar to this. And I was testing it and I was like, oh shoot, it's the same. So, and so instead of me jumping on this, cause I didn't want to do that. I was jumping on this and like stepping on it and throwing a, um, a sledgehammer and dropping it on it. And it was just bouncing off. And you can kind of see my little bit of foot marks, but it, it didn't do anything, which is cool because that means this is going to be perfect. Um, so that's a huge, huge plus that I really, really like. Um, I got the uh, center stabs here. Logo right here. And I think, I'm not too sure if they, um, if Chris is going to have uh, uh, the replacements just in case for guys who do end up uh, going down. So there's that. And then you can get replacements. But check it out. These are heavy duty core plus, 6 mil. Not too shabby. Um, heavy, so that will add weight, um, your tail weight, obviously. And um, but they'll last. They'll they'll last for a long time. I'm pretty sure someone out there who makes carbon fiber, you know, carbon fiber uh, uh, center stabs. You know, what's up, dog? Where you at? Hook hook some people up. So, bow. Possibility, I think so. Uh, Velcro here for the bottom, and that Velcro goes uh, down here. Now you can get the uh, use a different system, like a bungee or rubber bands. But uh, Chris said another video, and from my experience, that the uh, sun fatigues and the heat fatigues the rubber band, and after so many uses, you're gonna have a pop, and then there goes the wing, goes flying. So uh, the Velcro is probably a better bet. Uh, what you'd probably want to do is sand it and then apply your goop and then put your um, uh, Velcro on there. That way it holds. Or what you want to do is cut a little notch, dig the Velcro in there, and then lay it flat. Does that make sense? That way it has a piece in here and it won't peel off. That way you kind of have a safety net or you'll be able to see it um, in a previous uh, or in a flight. So you do your pre-flight checkup, um, stuff like that. Uh, spars are over here. These are just the spars I can run, run along the main bay, and for your wing spars here. Um, which again, what you're probably gonna do, you want to sand it. That way, you can apply your uh, your adhesive to um, to glue it on there. Um, I'll probably use uh, sand this down, use white gorilla glue, and then use my typical method of doing it that way. They're not that deep, so the gorilla glue won't really won't really would not be used as uh, as much like uh, these wings over here so um yeah you should be fine there uh the sparring here is uh right over here so this is your main this is your main spar here and the shiny one whoop, there it goes there it goes uh, is right here you can see it this kind of is is fairly thin and this is a composite. I don't know if it's carbon fiber, but you guys can see it. So I know some of you guys are probably gonna review the video and freak out, but don't worry. There's a, they make other um, fi carbon fiber pieces that are really strong. So uh, don't stress about it. Uh, again, I'm gonna be um, floating and cruising, just cruising it. So this will end up being seated in right there. And then your back 
one right now. Or did I do that the other way? Yeah, because these go on the inside. These go in like that. Like so. And then, so those will fit inside. Um, the, the main one is fairly thick. You can kind of see it right there. Um, here at my shop, I have uh, another material that's pretty strong. These are um, carbon fiber. Or not carbon fiber. These are fiberglass extruded tubes. Which is not in focused. So, ugh, you can kind of see. Let me... Going in my gut, so you can kind of see the difference in the stuff that I have here. So they're a lot thicker. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so there it is, right there. It's a little bit thicker. So there's option two. Now I would probably run this option if I was going for um, balls to the wall speed there. Um, but since I'm not, I'm not going to run them. But they're, they're the options I wanted to show you guys in the video. That way everyone can see it. And if you do decide to hop it up, you guys can look for the bigger spars. But if you're not, keep it simple. And these would work just fine. So, um, again, I don't. I hope you guys aren't going to put like 1,000, you know, 2,000 watts to this bad boy. I'm really, I bet you guys would see some, see some fluttering. Because that's a lot of stress on, on a wing. Um, unless it's like epoxied, you need to have a fiberglass system, but it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun flying this bad boy. I know it will be because it's going to be super portable. And when you take it apart, you know, you don't, you don't have a lot of material there. And I think you could probably find a, um, uh, uh, maybe a, a shipping box or a, uh, maybe a Pelican case that'll fit that. Um, yeah, it should fit. Let me see. Where's the measuring tape? Ooh. Da -da -da. So we're looking at 45, 45, 44. Yeah, about 44. So maybe, maybe 42. We can find a 42 inch box. Uh, 42 by 10, maybe. Maybe nine, if you can find something around there. And then the width is... Probably get away about that. About 20, maybe 21. 21, 22. Find a Pelican box. Now, those boxes will probably be a lot more. Uh, probably looking around 400 bucks. But if that's your bread and butter there, it's nothing. You know, that, that's going to secure your, your, uh, your vehicle. And that'll be um, that'll be pretty nice. So uh, this to keep that in mind. Uh, find a good case, and then you will be in heaven because your uh, tool will be secure. So, oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. here's the. I'll show you guys a quick comparison on size. So that's the drac, and here's this is a, the wing that I make. That's a the juggernaut, but you can see how it's much bigger. How much bigger? Ooh, that'd be a cool wing. Look at that. Um, so that's the jugger. And that's 48, and this is 60, uh, 61 and a half. So it's a little bit bigger. You guys can see it. And then let me get you another comparison so you guys can see it. Ooh, and here is the... Shoot. Okay. It's a little bigger than that. Okay. You guys can see it. We're at the wingtip. So this is the behemoth. It's about... Uh, we're a little we're a little short back there. So this one's 60. So you can kind of see how much bigger it is. But yeah. So that's a little quick comparison on, on maybe the side. Ooh. So it's pretty big. Really big, actually. And you can see how much material is in that center, which is nice. Because it's gives you so much room and so um, that'll give you options I don't have any batteries that are out here I'd show you some batteries that's all I have but okay um for an example for you guys here's uh, an 1800 probably put a couple couple dozen in there so 
I mean, uh, I don't have anything else. Hang tight. Let me see if I can find some batteries. You guys, hang tight. Let me cook. Actually, walk with me here. Walk with me. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay, we've got an 8,000. Got a crowbar over there. And then we got... Uh, holy mackerel. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So this will give you some ideas. Now, these are low-performing. Uh, not, well, not low performing. They're um, 10 C, so they're not really not the speed wing that you'd want to put these in. But you have 8,000 milliamp. Be a little tall up front. Once it's in focus, you can kind of see right there. But you can probably put it back a little bit more because all this counterweight. So there's 8,000, and then this is a 60. Bam. So the 16,000 would fit. I don't know why you would run a 16,000. That'd be... Um, it weighs two pounds. 16,000. But it, it, I'm just doing this for so you guys can get an idea. So... So it'd fit pretty good. I don't know if you'd want to put anything more than that. I wouldn't put anything more than that because then you... It, it changes the characteristics of the wing once it's overweighted um the, really what you'd want to do is just find the sweet spot so like if you use a small motor and you hit um you hit the cg using a small battery and then once you put the bigger battery obviously you have to push it back because the cg out there would kind of counteract all the weight back here but once you find that sweet spot with the nice battery um and then you know it, and it flies very very well you guys would be good. And then you can, if you want to go up to a little bit bigger battery, um, I I would probably say, I don't know. So I have to see some testing. But this isn't that heavy. It's 648 grams. So it's not that bad. Uh, I'll probably get you a couple flights. Or maybe, I don't know. So I'd have to see. I haven't built this. Um, I'd have to check out. Anyways, sorry for veering off there bring you back over here to this beauty um but yeah you guys check it out if you guys are into that um the wing is very beautiful it's very nice and i think uh we're gonna see a lot of them in 2016 so uh with that i'll wrap it up because i don't know how much i can talk uh you guys have a good one and uh yeah check them out uh the right wing uh, right wing rc.com and the drac there it is, 2016. Check him out and uh, go ahead and flood his email. Say, hey, man, I want one. So there it is. Peace out, guys.